being used then. And Manchester United bring back something akin to a holy trinity with Ronaldo, Rooney and Scholes returning to a side that defeated Roma on Wednesday without them. Patrice Evra also comes in at left-back in place of Mikel Silvestre. Anderson, Ryan Giggs and Carlos Tevez among the options available to Sir Alex on the bench, while Gerard Piquet retains his place at centre-back in Emmanuel Vidic's continued absence. Surprises are plenty in the Arsenal lineup, notably Jens Lehmann, who starts in the Premier League for the first time since February. Alex Song is also a shock inclusion, we think at centre-back, 17 months on from his last Premier League start in Arsenal colours. The axe falls on Philip Senderos, Flamini is injured, Diaby suspended, the experienced Gilberto is out of the wilderness, and Robin Van Persie returns. Sir Alec Ferguson getting his prize for manager of the month for March. It's usually the kiss of death, to be honest. And it may be some encouragement for Arsenal today. Cristiano Ronaldo also receiving the player of the month award out there on the field as well. There can be no disputing that he has been the defining figure, the star of this season. And Howard Webb has to be strong today, FM, doesn't he? Yes, yeah, lots of pressure on referees. The spotlight's been on them. All season, really, as it is, I suppose, every season. But uh, we've got the, arguably the best referee in the country. No reason why he should be overawed by the occasion. Many men, refereed many a big match. Well, Jens Lehmann. I thought he was going to quietly slip to retirement, but he's in the Arsenal 11 today. Big surprise. Wayne Rooney will hope to beat him again. Arsene Wenger will hope to repeat the dose last season when Emmanuel Adebayor's single goal was enough to record victory at Old Trafford. And the atmosphere has certainly lifted a notch once more. It's been tingling all day at Old Trafford. And you know what the stakes are in this game, more so for Arsenal. It's their season in one day. Rio Ferdinand and William Gallas, the two skippers and Arsenal know how high the stakes are today and he's been there and done it he's one of the few invincibles still around at Arsenal Toure, Clichy and Gilberto completing the set in the Arsenal side today Alex Song how will he cope with this test today He's played at Old Trafford before when he was on loan at Charlton last season. And that is a major surprise to see him in the side. So underway. Arsenal have never won the league having lost at Old Trafford along the way. If they do suffer defeat, then they'll certainly be out of it. Worse still, condemned to a third successive season without silverware. Really, Efane Koku, it is all about Arsenal today. Yes, it's been uh, such a massive week for them. And I'm sure they knew at the beginning of the week, going to Anfield, and then coming to Old Trafford, uh, things would very much hinge on these two performances. But today, performance is, uh, is required, obviously, to get something at Old Trafford. But the result is the all-important thing. Van Persie back in the Arsenal lineup, winning an early free kick for the Gunners. First touch for Alex Song, and that will be hugely welcome for him. Torre continuing in the right back role, which has been something of a bone of contention for Arsenal supporters, especially with Emmanuel Ibue in the side today, as he was at Anfield in midweek. I just wonder as well if. The appearance of Jens Lehmann and Gilberto Silva as well in midfield, whether that's a slight admission of guilt from uh, from Arsene Wenger, and maybe he wishes he'd played a more, ex more experienced team in the recent weeks. They would have uh, stopped hemorrhaging points and dropped points, two points, on more than one occasion. And that's led to their slip in the table, coming from PLB first to now in third place. He never admitted, though, would he, publicly anyway? I wouldn't have thought so. And not on this man, Gerard Piquet was excellent on loan at Real Zaragoza 
last season, the Spaniard, and pitched into what is almost certainly the biggest game of his career so far. Rooney rising, but slightly misjudging it. Toure away. And a Bayor with the first aerial confrontation with Rio Ferdinand. PK, he has experience in the Champions League this season. Of course, on Wednesday night he started the game. He's also got a couple of goals in Europe's elite competition this season, so he's no stranger to the big occasion. This is Robin Van Persie. This was top scorer last season, but has found it so difficult to get a consistent run together with the injury problems he's suffered. This is Clichy and Afleb. Arsenal hoping to build the first meaningful attack of the game. Clep. Trying to pick their way through. It's all very patient. And West Brown almost caught sleeping. Well, we all accuse Arsenal of overplaying on occasion. West Brown was uh, sleeping there. Unlucky not to be caught. I hope Odua is not injured himself. He seems to be running freely. We had an opportunity to tend to whip the ball and Gail Clichy decided not to. Just mentioned uh, Van Persie. I think he's been their biggest miss for them this season. His goals and his influence, his creativity. Technically, he's one of the most gifted players in the league. I don't think anybody would argue with that. But that's been a massive blow for them. But there are other key players, as we know, have been missing virtually all season as well. Yes, it has uh, even led to a little message of sympathy from Sir Alec Ferguson in his programme notes today, admitting it was bound to be difficult for Arsenal with all the problems they've suffered. Very magnanimous of him. This is Park. Can afford to be when you're top of the table. Absolutely. Park always an effervescent presence in this United side, but he's given it away. And this is Ibue. Now Fabregas. And Percy misjudging it. It's a, we saw Cesc Fabregas get on the ball for the first time, and United will be sure to try and close him down very quickly at every opportunity to stop him affecting proceedings because we know although he's not been quite the force he was he can certainly affect things well, and Arsenal players have been guilty of giving the ball away cheaply in the opening minutes well here is Fabregas sir. first chance to influence things and an optimistic effort and the pitch seems very well they were watering it before kickoff as well the groundsmen were in their spot repairs after the warm-up slightly long as well not as uh, smooth as both teams I'm sure would like to see it and this is a surface that's taken some stick down the years here at Old Trafford and remember that uh, Sir Alex in his earlier days when he was still playing old Alex uh, more or less blamed a loss of the title to Leeds United on the state of the pitch and his failure to sign Mick Harford before the end of the season to counteract it with his aerial presence since then Sir Alex has racked up nine titles and he wasn't thanking the pitch for that. And they do play wonderful stuff. It's definitely the two best footballing sides in the country, and certainly those amongst the best in uh, Europe as well. well. Certainly the most pleasing on the eye to watch, but Chelsea would argue with that. Football is all about productivity. And if after three, four seasons you've not won a major trophy, then you can't really uh, just avow the claims to be arguably the best team in the country because there's nothing in the cupboard certainly true this is Adebayor a chance for him to rampage at the United defence a huge amount of ground it falls for Fabregas and the first meaningful effort comes from Arsenal and they'll want more of that well they give the ball away cheaply to begin with Wes Brown's a lucky boy Adebayor runs into trouble in the end well, what's Wes Brown doing the side puts his straight perfect pass to Seth Fabregas and unfortunately for him and most unlike him as well the first touch is just a little bit sloppy takes him wide and he's on the rise uh, leaning back and stretching and doesn't trouble the goalkeeper well Fabregas presented with a gift but Arsenal couldn't exploit it and Fabregas in possession again he's seeing a fair amount of the ball out of Ior now Van Persie Andre making a little run for him but he'll use Gilberto of the side for so long last season in Henri's absence it really has struggled to hold down a place in Arsene Wenger's first choice team this season and his experience will be welcome today you know, hindsight's a wonderful thing isn't it but 
What a lot of people have been calling out for his introduction or reintroduction back into the squad in, in the last few months, really, not only recent weeks when things have really nosedived for Arsenal. He's had extra composure. Flamini, as good as a player as he is, so it just brings a little bit more calm to the Arsenal team, particularly in front of the back four where they have been exposed. Oldest outfield player these days at Arsenal. This is Ibue. Trying to make progress. Scholes haven't really seen him get into the game as yet. Arsenal have asserted themselves quite well in these early stages. It all, could all change in the blink of an eye, especially when Ronaldo gets on the ball. But Son involved in the first confrontation with him. Well, they've been in control of the midfield so far. Arsenal playing their usual formation. Five across the middle, Adebayo up front on his own. On occasion he's isolated. Well, that's a wasted pass from Van Persie. No other options really. Fabregas didn't commit to the run. And it's so hard to outplay them in that central midfield area. And that's why I was surprised with the omission of Anderson today. I thought with his uh, slightly more, a lot more combative nature than both Michael Carrick and Paul Scholes. We've seen uh, less of a need to foul as well, and Paul Scholes, you know, does give away a lot of free kicks. United will be hoping that they don't, I don't think they'll be overrunning midfield. Certainly, if Arsenal really get ahead of steam up and dominate that midfield area. A difficult uh, afternoon for the champions. Manchester United are the champions. Arsenal looked as though they would be able to wrestle that crown away when they were five points clear as recently as the end of February. But what an alarming collapse it has been for the Gunners. Many pointing the finger at Wenger and his failure to spend money in the transfer window in January and add to his squad. At the moment, he's a central striker for United, but it wouldn't surprise me to see Cristiano Ronaldo occupying that position even in this first half. And Rooney to uh, move either side of him and park, they can alternate either wing. Any possibilities for rotation there. This is Scholes. They're almost able to steal possession back for Arsenal there. This is Gerard Piquet. Something of a test for some unfamiliar characters at the centre of both defences today. And it's uh, the United backline that has come under more stress so far in the opening nine minutes. This is Scholes, hoping to win an eighth Premier League title this season. He's making another penetrating run from midfield, but he couldn't be found. A blow from Rio Ferdinand. Well, maybe Adebayo got himself into position, and in the end he just overran the ball. Looking to uh, shoulder Rio Ferdinand out of the way. This is Ronaldo, first chance to run at Arsenal. And was it handball? Certainly the free kick has been given against Gilberto. Well, he went to ground early, Gilberto. Well, I don't think it's an outstretched hand, but how Webb gave that well. It is. Good decision. The upper arm from the Brazilian. I you know what this sort of position could mean. Jens Lehmann may well get his first test here if he can actually get anywhere near it. I know you, you don't really want to invite more trouble into your box, but that'd be wise just to put somebody on the opposing post. You see, just a little bit more difficult for Ronaldo. Like I said, it takes. Uh, a good view away from the goalkeeper. It's almost a rugby kicker, kicker's step away from the ball there. It is Ronaldo to strike, and the defensive wall does its duty. That's a succession of free kicks now, second in a few moments. And Manchester United beginning to mount some pressure. Well, it's a needless free kick. Well, Howard Webb, is he going to book out the bio? Oh, he's giving him a final warning. There wasn't too much contact there either. There really was no need to touch him. He's going away from goal. Two players shepherded him away. And Arsenal have got pace in their ranks, particularly in the back. They shouldn't really be too frightened by Ronaldo's pace today. Scholes, Carrick, Brown, Ferdinand and PK in the area waiting here for Manchester United. Ronaldo poised. Whipped in. And evades everybody. Well, lots of pace. This wrong direction this time for the Portuguese star. 
Goes behind everybody, even Rio Ferdinand is trying to close the back door. Well, for once, he's got it wrong, for once, we see a human side. And he's closing in on the 40 mark incredibly, in terms of goals this season. Ferdinand across, to halt the probing run from Van Persie. This is Patrice Evra. Lovely touch from Ronaldo. Never really is carrying the fight here. Trying to feed Rooney. Not great defender from Adebayo. He's in that position. He's got to follow the left back. Fabregas. Adebayo. They could be in here. It's Ibue. Clever arriving as well. Adebayo. Crucial block there by Rio Ferdinand. Oh, what a great block it was. Maybe that's why he didn't go forward. He was the extra body in the middle when Fabregas turns it on to him. Abue, the lovely first time ball, and he's just with the outside of the boot. Adebayo, I think he was certainly goal bound. And if Van Sol would have had that covered, then he might have gone over the big Dutchman. Great block from the centre half. And it seems the blue touch paper has been lit. And it's behind by Brown. That was a good corner, Galas came too late, what a chance that was for Adebayo. He just stumbled as well before he made contact. If not, I think he would have looked to have taken that with his left foot and just side it back across the goalkeeper. And Arsenal attacking the Stretford end. And hoping for some reward for their efforts so far. Well, Howard Webb unhappy about close goals and park up Fabregas to deliver Mandasar to come Gilberto and it hits on and it was a huge escape for Manchester United and it was Mandasar came didn't get anything on it really and also they've got to take one of these chances great opportunity for song this Mandasar comes doesn't get a great punch on it volley back in by Gilberto is it I thought it actually came off song can't take your eyes off it at the moment, it's Hargreaves. Ronaldo making a move inside the box. And it's Park who got up in the end. Oh, and he's missed a glorious chance. Lovely ball back across from Owen Hargreaves. Took his time, didn't rush the cross. After he makes a great run through Arsenal, don't pick him up. Really, Park's got to do better from there. Thought Ronaldo was favourite to take that. Park just takes it off him. He wishes he hadn't done now. We've seen the first yellow card of the game there for Wes Brown. This is why. Well, I think he's actually trying to get out of the way. He's certainly not looking to take out Gary Felici. That's not a full-blooded challenge by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's likely to be a few today. Fabregas poised to deliver. Clichy. See the crack. It was comfortably blocked by Wes Brown. Gail Clichy has never scored. This is Ronaldo. And Toure and Ibue between them, and uh, they may have to do that a few times today, doubling up to deal with it. The kind of situations that Arsenal don't have to panic. As I said, they've got lots of pace at the back. No, they wouldn't really want to, but on occasion they can afford to take Ronaldo one on one. Certainly Galas Torre, Abue. Song is no slouch, and we know Clichy is uh, he's rapid, isn't he, on the left, left full back position. Nice Brown. Park was pointing the way, but Van Persie in the way. Clev. Abue. By all now, Arsenal stringing the passes together. And Ibue in again. Well, they're picking them apart at the moment. Arsenal keeping their composure, but for their dominance right now, they've not got that opening goal, which is also important for them. Just get the feeling that if United score first, mentally it becomes a very, very difficult afternoon for the Gunners. Well, Arsenal are trying to break down the meanest defence in the Premier League and they're making openings 
Conceded just five goals here at home, Manchester United in the league this season. Middlesbrough, Derby, Everton and Manchester City, the only teams to score here. An agitated Arsene, appearing on the touchline. Also getting into the near the uh, penalty box as well. United penalty box, let fly as well, 20-25 yards out. Fabregas, we know, has got great technique. Got quite a few long-range goals in the last couple of seasons. Roberto is not a great goal scorer. Lev, well, he doesn't score for somebody so talented. He not score anywhere near the amount of goals he should do. Fabregas, no Premier League goal though since January. This is Abue, and now Lev. Adebayor waiting in the middle, they might have a long wait at the moment. <laughs> This is Abue, trying to play their way through, Fabregas, awkward for van der Sar. Comfortable in the end for the Dutchman. And Abue making his presence felt, and that's Karic, looking for Rooney and finding. Superb ball, he's got Ronaldo in support. Doesn't think he needs him, in the end away by Clichy. Searching ball there from Wayne Rooney. This is Gilberto and Clem. Use Abue again, who's made several penetrating thrusts. Ever halting him that time. This is Clem. And a Bayor. Little space to work with. And he'll get it back. And a neat drink for Van der Sar in the end. Oh, a lovely link-up play yet again from Arsenal. There we go, lovely one-two, give and go, added by all, round West Brown. He really didn't know where the big toggle these four would have gone to. Unfortunately, it's a tame finish, the side foot. He might have just taken a big touch right around Rio Ferdinand, would have been one-on-one -on -one with Van der Sar. Oh, and Rooney getting in behind here, this is danger for Arsenal. Just caught sleeping a touch, the Gunners this time. There they were, all that dominance and no goal. Big ball from Van der Sar, and he brushes aside Colo Torre. Song is sleeping really, and they'd be disappointed with that finish, Wayne Rooney. That's the second clean opportunity they've had. And a wake up call for Alex Song. Gilberto. And the Bayor being hassled by Carrick. It's the striker who wins out. Kleb. Three in the area for Arsenal. Kleb twisting, turning, but making too much progress. Ibue. Character steal it away, but Manchester United under pressure here to say the least. It's Toure. Toure just won't give up the fight, but it's Piquet. He thought he'd stepped away with it. Kleb. Adebayor, Gilberto. Nice Brown with the challenge, but it's still not over. Clichy. The pace is absolutely breathless at the moment. I don't think we were in the first 20 minutes. We just had that. Arsenal certainly really asserting themselves here. And Wayne Rooney asserting himself in uh, the way we don't really want to see. Oh, he's a silly boy, Wayne Rooney. Whistler gone already. He's lucky not to get a yellow card. Torres already on his knees, got his ball in between, protecting it. Well, oh, nice to see good sportsmanship there, uh, Tabue. Where's the joint most booked United player? Well, Wes Brown has just stolen ahead in that particular contest today. Booked six times, Rooney. Arsenal satisfied with their efforts, but no reward for them as yet. Um, certainly one or two warning signs as well as they have to go for this. This is Fabregas, but Carrick is in there with a footy. I think Arsene Wenger will be the more worried of the two managers right now. They've been a better team by far, no question about that. But they've not taken any kind of advantage so far. United picked them off. Not only that they're playing against a uh, mean old defence in Manchester United, but they're also playing against a side who can counter attack like lightning. The 
released by Rio Ferdinand. With a loss of concentration. And it's invited Arsenal to regain the momentum. Ebuwe. And yet again, lets them down in the final third, that final ball. And plenty of promising situations on Tuesday night, didn't he, Emmanuel Ebuwe? And couldn't make the most of them. Brown will get there ahead of Clichy. Oh, Clichy completely pulled out of that challenge. That was amazing, 50-50 ball. Saw Wes Brown coming, maybe saw the whites of his eyes. Ronaldo's potentially in behind here. Song has to time that right and hasn't. Rooney! Well, Alex Song, again, a little uncertain. What a fantastic ball from Patrice Evra. That's the ball of the game. Great skill from Ronaldo, skips it over Song. Rooney really should score, he just didn't open his body out. And a side foot, good save from Jens Lehmann. Ronaldo in there, TK Brown, and it's to the confrontation between Brown and Toure that Howard Webb's attention has been drawn. We just didn't help Wayne Rooney that he was so close in the end to Ronaldo when he played the ball. And what an opportunity for United to strike. It's Adebayor on defensive duty for Arsenal. And as you mentioned before, Efren, if uh, United do strike first blood here, then it really is going to be an almost shattering psychological blow for Arsenal. Although they have had a decent record at turning games around in the last couple of seasons. Indeed, they did to victory over United at the Emirates last season. In their current state of mind, oh, good might point. be a much more difficult task. I was going to say, things are slightly different, aren't they? Tail end of the season, after some shattering defeats in recent weeks. A lot harder, mentally, they're a lot more jaded than they have been in big clashes. This is Park, the touch. To the decision, but it's Scalclici who steps away. And Percy holding off the challenge of Carrick. Clichy once more. And Gilberto, again, an uh, uncharacteristic slip from him. The tension of the occasion can play its part even for these season campaigners. That's one who fits that bill perfectly, Paul Scholes. Hargreaves, Park. United slip into gear now, having been under the cosh for much of it. Searching for Park here. Jens Lehmann able to read the danger. Well, as well as they can inject pace into the game, United with Rooney and Ronaldo in particular. They need to really get a grip to the midfield at the moment, and Carrick and Paul Scholes, the game so far, slightly bypassing them. Oh, there's a guy who can change the face of the game. What a run that was on Tuesday night against Liverpool in the Champions League. It seemed that it was almost going to be another Michael Thomas moment between Liverpool and Arsenal with just a few minutes left. That's a second away goal which put Arsenal within touching distance of a Champions League semi-final. I'm sure we'll see Theo Walcott today. Just at whatever stage of the game or whatever stage. Samanga feels that he needs to introduce him. And certainly, if he does introduce him, hope he can produce another moment of inspiration like that. This is Rooney. Just couldn't quite find skulls. You know, Rooney's not happy because he felt he should have got a free kick, and when he gave the ball away, a second or so later, felt there was no advantage. And we've seen that played quite well by referees in recent weeks. And safely back to Van der Sar. This is Carrick, who's maintained a place in many of the big games this season. Wayne Hargreaves has occasionally found himself out of favour, but he does have a bit of a niggling knee injury. Up towards Park. And so Toure able to tidy up after a fashion, at least. And they call him Three Lung Park because of his tireless running. And it's quite inevitable that the manager will want to take in proceedings. He could be calling him two cars Capello because he was at Anfield earlier on. Taking another game. 
Yeah, he does get about, doesn't he? Well, he couldn't miss this one. And Percy winning that physical duel. Gilberto. Mike Slayer. Prefers that role just in behind Adebayor. This is Ibue. Kleb again. Looking to feed Adebayor. A chance for him. And it's not what he wanted. Arsene cannot believe how well his team is playing. And they're not one goal up. Yet again, lovely movement. Ibue moves. Out of the way, Kleb picks out a pinpoint pass to Adebayor. That's a really poor finish. We have to wonder whether the haircut has contained his goal-scoring powers in the Premier League because he hasn't got one in the league since. Oh, that'd be superstitious, he won't do it again. Oh, a few attempts already today, addressing that balance. I think it's noticeable as well that the awesome midfield and what have the legs they had a couple of months ago at Fabregas. There's no Flamini today, but Kleb as well. Not able to make those forward runs beyond Adebayor, beyond Van Persie. And they were doing very well, certainly before Christmas. Marcin hasn't had the similar luxury that Avram Grant and Alex Ferguson have had in being able to rest many of their key players at uh, crucial times earlier in the season. Manchester United always fresher at this stage of the campaign, it seems. We know that, but it's a luxury that they could have afforded themselves with the biggest squad. Simple as that. This is Adebayor. No one arriving to take advantage of that. It was the worst cross in the world. To uh, Abue, Manuel Abue on the far post. But no attempt to really go for that cross. This is Van Persie. It's really hard to win that one. This is... Clef trying to cut a sway through the United defence. So it all breaks down at the feet of Abue and it briefly becomes a hot potato, the football. You can feel the tension around Old Trafford. They know they're in for a game today. And even if United manage not to lose this game, they'll still feel it. it's two points dropped if they don't get the victory. And just how close Chelsea are behind them. And the gap would be four points and it's a gap in the event of a draw and it's a gap that Chelsea could... Overhaul, they could be top by the time United are next in action if United don't win today. Chelsea at home to Wigan tomorrow, Everton on Thursday. United with a not easy trip to Blackburn next weekend. Well, we know that Chelsea can cope with their squad. A tough fixture schedule that they've got in the next two weeks or so. It's a slab looking to take on PK and scores. It's a terrific run. He's still bandaged up, but uh, certainly made a difference to the Arsenal side today. It's Clichy. Ferdinand's outstretched boots. It's Gilberto to hit. And he's yet to score this season. Yeah, it's not played, played many games yet again. It's not a pretty finish. And also, that'd be wasteful in front of goal so far. That's not an easy chance. We know 25 yards out. Gilberto did get plenty last season, mostly from the penalty spot, it should be added, 11 in total in all competitions. It's amazing that he can be first choice for Brazil and not first choice for Arsenal. They all count, don't they? Spot, free kicks, off the knee, off the chest, anywhere. So, a few more off the knee, off the chest. This is Alex Lair. Arsenal just haven't been able to find that breakthrough. They've certainly been the better side by some margin in this opening half an hour here at Old Trafford. Gallas on the surge. And Percy taking over. Towards Fabregas, it was Carrick's clearance. And Park with plenty of industry in the midfield area there. Ronaldo fortunate, but now he's on one of those trademark runs. Hoping to pick up the pieces, but Gilberto, the midfield enforcer. Good cover from Arsenal. That's Sibue, who's down. Simi rescued his situation. 
As Ronaldo was threatening to come inside the two of them. And Gilberto helps out third man. There's Ronaldo, ball at his feet, the most dangerous man in the world. And Arsenal do well, they cover. Well, he actually fouls De Bruyne, takes his legs away from him. Oh, Weber's right there and doesn't see that as a free kick. He is the golden boy, Ronaldo. Three away from the 40 goal mark. But he hasn't had too many uh, sniffs of an opportunity today. Looking to nurse Alex Song through it a little. Only 21, he's a tough tackler. Certainly got some experienced men around him to uh, make sure he uh, keeps his game in shape. Well, what language are they speaking here? <laughs> it was <laughs> French. <laughs> it's now Belarusian and German. Well, Alexander Lev, I think, is fluent in German as well, so there's a mixture there, isn't it? Absolutely, from his time at Stuttgart. And Theo Walcott could be a key weapon for Arsenal today. Ibue, not uh, in the ideal state of health at the moment as he trudges off. It's amazing how small decisions can change the whole course of a season. When Arsenal were leading 1-0 against Chelsea and managed to lose the game 2-1, you always felt that. I certainly felt that if Walcott was introduced at the time when they were a goal up, just as Chelsea were making substitutions with an Elka, etc., they could have brought on the likes of Walcott to stretch the Chelsea defence. It could have been 2-0, they could have been home uh, done and dusted. When Rafa Benitez made the changes just after Arsene Wenger made them, you see the difference it had, and Babel came on and was able to tilt the tide in Liverpool's favour. So just so small things. It might only be one or two throughout the season. And then uh, end up bringing you silverware. And Bouet back with us. It's Ronaldo. Carriage. Gerard TK. Arsenal giving this everything so far, but the reward has not come their way. And it would just be like Manchester United to pick them off and nick one before the break. You know, physically, Arsenal look very fresh at the moment. As I said, I know if they go a goal behind, mentally, will they have the resources? And all of a sudden, you can become tired. And you weren't before if you go a goal up, and you know things are going your way. And you play for another two days non-stop. Patrice oh. Ebra penalised. Another Arsenal free kick. These United boys have been in this situation before. Oh no, okay, they're not playing well, Sir Alex. It seems a strange way, they'll probably be quite pleased. He knows his team have been outplayed so far. And not a goal behind, and there's a lot more to come from them, I'm sure. And by all with a dominant leap. Arsenal, it would seem, cannot afford to go behind, but taking the initiative again here through Fed. And a by all to his left, big chance! And he couldn't beat Edwin van der Sar. Well, these chances could be Arsenal season. Yet again, United give the ball away cheaply. Alexander Hebb has been his star performer so far. So silky footwork. It was a lovely ball for Adebayo. I thought he could have taken another touch. Decided to go first time to tame finish. Well, United should have been punished. And they may get some payback here. It's Rooney on the surge! And it just took a nick on its way through, and United have a corner, but Arsenal breathing an almighty sigh of relief there. Well, lucky, lucky Arsenal. Alexander Song doesn't control that ball, Rooney's away, nearly brought down by Torre. Uh, it's a good stop from Jens Lehmann, he comes out quickly. And spreads himself, Rooney can't believe he's missed. Looking about a couple of goals for either side. And Rooney could have had a couple himself. It's Rio Ferdinand steaming in. And, uh, Jens Lehmann with a crucial save for Arsenal. Oh, the keep big their season save. alive. Yeah, two big saves he's made. There's the earlier chance. Lovely footwork yet again from Alexander Hleb. Adebayo, well, he doesn't do anything. Doesn't go sideways, doesn't blast it. These are glorious opportunities for the Gunners that they're not taking. Wayne Rooney keeps his balance. Kukwai as they've gone down under pressure. Jens Lehmann stands up big, and he just comes off his heel, off the side of his foot. He's got to go down, it's a great stop. Really staying on his feet as he did in a similar incident at that end of the ground in the game against Liverpool. And Jens Lehmann 
keeping Arsenal's hopes alive. And just the, the title race. Select, sorry, down to just the final selection. And it has been a surprise selection. But certainly Lehman will feel it's the right decision. He's not backward in coming forward in that respect. This is Rooney. It's goals arriving, Park beaten to it, Ronaldo. Clichy away. And that's been a pulsating contest and Manchester United hoping to uh, put their foot on the gas for a spell. Well, United so at the moment, but their best on a counter-attack. And Wayne Rooney's had two of their better chances. So Alex, well, he's usually got that same kind of stare, hasn't he? So we don't know whether he's happy or sad. Contemplating his uh, half-time team talk, I'm sure. Well, he knows that Arsenal have had the lion's share of the play, but United have had their golden opportunities to take the lead as well. This is Clichy. Well, it almost seems as if United are happy just to play containing football. And no, no, Arsenal are the ones who have the greater need. And Percy late. A booking is going to follow here. That's harsh. It's his first challenge of the game. It's a 50 50 ball there to be won. Maybe West Brown is slightly favourite. It's not a yellow card, just a follow through. West Brown almost comes into him as much as he goes in. Man United fullback. Might have been painful that for Robin Van Persie. Towards Rooney, can Song win it? Certainly has been a very interesting choice from Arsene Wenger that preferring Alex Song to send Ross at centre back today. This is a buoy. Tommy Dell, have you seen anybody with better control and balance than Alexander Clever in the last couple of seasons? Uh, I certainly, certainly not any central midfield or attacking midfielder. I might be with you on that one. It's ever out of the tight spots. PK to bring it away. Mark wanting it. Four for Carrick here. Delayed too long, PK. And then he got too close to Gilberto. This is Paul Scholes, so capable of picking the killer pass. And so use Hargreaves this time. Now Ronaldo. Oh, an extravagant touch. Can Hargreaves find the delivery? Song turning it behind. And the noise level lifts again. And cavalry up from the back in the shape of Ferdinand Piquet and Wes Brown. And it's Anavayor to hack it away. Patrice Sebra to pick it up. Rooney. It's a risky ball. Right, it's straight plus left. In towards Ronaldo and Pique, who stayed up there. Carrick. And away by Song in the end. It's been a pulsating contest so far and into the final five minutes of this first half. Who is going to find the first breakthrough? It's Van Persie. Oh, Searching for a Bouet, but that was not what he wanted at all. He wanted to play that ball about ten seconds earlier, decided against it. This is Ronaldo. All two extravagant touches, but uh, it's not been the Cristiano Ronaldo show so far by any stretch of the imagination. As it has been for much of the campaign. Paul Scholes. Ronaldo again. They both have a great need, and maybe that's why United are showing signs of nervousness. This is Hargreaves. Find the cross. The whole kick will be the end result. And we've seen him much more in an attacking sense of late, certainly on Wednesday night against Roma. Super performance from Hargreaves that night, and a super performance from the ends Lehman so far. There's nothing wrong with a big brooding goalkeeper, is there? Will he be a worried man to um, Arsene Wenger? This team have not turned their dominance into at least one goal. And has had enough chances himself, hasn't he? The man who scored the crucial... Well, it didn't turn out to be that crucial, the, the winner here last season. United losing 
twice to Arsenal in the league last season and going on to win the league. And Rooney finding skulls, but then skulls, uncharacteristically, not picking out the final pass. This is Fabregas. Hope here for Arsenal. He's got Hleb and Anabayor arriving. And Anabayor! And the Saar down bravely. Well, he could have actually played that with his left foot, says Fabregas. There's the opportunity. Adebayo's got the run on Michael Carrick. Just take a swing with your left foot. That's a difficult ball, always arcing towards a goalkeeper. In the end, it's a comfortable stop for the big Dutchman in goal. Good opportunity for Arsenal yet again. Searching for the first Premier League medal, says Fabregas. Was around during the era of the Invincibles, but didn't play a league game. At least he did. Here he is. Hargreaves. It's four years since Arsenal were last top of the tree in the Barclays Premier League. Certainly on top here. Fabregas. Locked by Evra. He was forced into a shot then, says Fabregas. Uh, the options, nobody coming up on the right side. Abue was in field. Just over two minutes remaining for this first half. It's always psychologically a great time to get a goal. Sometimes can't work against you if you score just before half time, including the domination. If I've been on top, it was if you want an extra ten minutes to cement your position. Something you can see just before the interval doesn't do you much good. Yeah. Worst case scenario. This is Gilberto. Toure to retrieve for all Arsenal's assertiveness and their opportunities. They've still drawn a blank. And a play. Colo yes. Toure, longest serving player now at Arsenal. There's been such a turnover of players in recent years. Sorry, don't for signs of uh, discord. Yes, of fraternity. They've wanted that ball inside. Brown still a lot of questions about his future. He contract up. Another play from Gallas. This is Scholes. And Arsenal fans making their voices heard for perhaps the first time. To our right hand side. It's Rooney's ball in. Over the head of Ronaldo, but Park can pick it up. Ronaldo again. His feet amongst the challenges. Hargreaves trying to win it back. Brown does. Never wants it from Carrick. And he can find it. Rooney within range. And Lehman tested again. Another clean strike from Wayne Rooney. He may have just been going wide. And as Lehman decides to take no chances. And go lots of time. Late of Polatori, I think it was. Lehman safety first. Two minutes of added time and we're into those. Adebayor. Clichy. Brown's block to prevent it reaching the growing numbers in the Manchester United penalty area. Really hoping to give Jens Lehman something to think about, but... Uh, Two time looking fullbacks there as well. Go Clichy, still struggling to get back over the halfway line. If Wes Brown was determined to make that run, he could have got on to the end of the Wayne Rooney pass. They have put so much into this first half, Arsenal, and particularly when you think about the efforts they put in as well on Tuesday night, you wonder how much there is in the tank. He's bound to show at some point, as I said, the goal all of a sudden will make you a little bit less tired than you were. This is Ronaldo. Going to get the better of Clichy and has his first real effort on goal in the game. for him to remember With that free kick which smacked into the wall as well oh, it's been a good half certainly not the pulsating atmosphere we had at Anfield it is a special special place on those European nights Anfield isn't it and it's another big one to come for them against Chelsea this is Toure can get the better of Ebra 
Frenchman still battling to get away, but he certainly won that particular duel. Now Rooney again looking to put pressure on Alex Song and see if he's up to it. There's so many good athletes on show today. That one-on-one, -on -one, they're not afraid to defend against one another. But at some point, somebody's going to make some mistake very often in these big games. A mistake as opposed to brilliance will open the door. Michael Carrick and Gerard Piquet. Half-time interval comes and Emmanuel Adebayor has had a great number of chances to give Arsenal a potentially priceless lead. Although Jens Lehmann has also come to the Gunners' rescue with at least one crucial save from Wayne Rooney, who's had his moments in front of goal as well. It's been an excellent first half, but so far, no breakthrough in this vital battle. It's, Ar it's Manchester United nil, Arsenal nil. It is a second half here that will define Arsenal's season. They've wasted opportunities in front of goal in the first 45. And they live to regret that in the second as Manchester United attack the Stretford end. United leading the way in the title race, but it is as thrilling a race as we've had in the Premier League in recent years. He is yet to really impose himself, Wayne Rooney has had more than a sniff of an opportunity in front of goal. We never know exactly what the managers say at half-time. I think Alex, uh, Alex Ferguson's words might have been echoing. But they'll keep your composure, we know that Arsenal really have to force the issue. And we can pick them off the longer the game goes on. As long as they don't commit any silly mistakes in the final third United to give the ball away too cheaply feel like they're in control of this game in many ways well, we have seen one or two moments of nervousness from Manchester United strangely at the back oh, Wes Brown with a present for Cesc Fabregas early on this is Ibue making plenty of progress and the referee's assistant influencing the award of the free kick here yeah, the assistant referee gives out now why doesn't Hal Webb He's in as good a position to see that. Completely clear view, it's a clear trip from Patrice Sever. There's no complaints from the left back at all. Tackle from behind, is that any worse than Van Persie's just before half time? Don't think so. Well, Van Persie did go into the book, but Howard Webb not resorting to it on that occasion. What can the Dutchman do here? What can he produce? Oh, he's fooled everybody, it's Kleb. Fabregas trying to pick their way through. And Percy to take it on. Four in the middle, one of them is out of by your! Pure goal for Arsenal! Emmanuel Adebayor with the crucial touch, and they lead less than three minutes into the second half. Well, I think he just comes off his chest in the end, but nobody can say that that goal wasn't coming. United have been stung the opening seconds of the first half. I thought they wasted the opportunity. But give credit to Van Persie, he doesn't give this ball when he comes out there. That big touch right round the back of Cristiano Ronaldo. And just, well, now he gets a clean contact on it, Adebayo. Well, what are United doing? The goalkeeper, well, he looks as if he's going to come for the ball. Ferdinand leaves it. Did he get a shout from Van der Sar? Carrick almost pulls himself away from it. He does, and Adebayo nips it into the net. And Arsenal deservedly, at last, finally, they take the lead. The hand of God, maybe. It looked as though the telling touch was from the forearm of... Emmanuel Adebayor, Arsenal will not care that there are bound to be inquests. Well, no complaints from the Man United defence. I think it was a clean header. His own was there, I think, just to balance himself, because it looks like he's slightly over overrun the ball. I don't think he could believe it actually got through to him. Well, it's what the neutrals would have wanted. It is certainly what Arsenal craved. And now Manchester United have to find a way back into this.
and it's definitely what Arsenal have deserved. This is Park. Well, can't say that Manchester United haven't been warned, but there will certainly be real, real question marks about what happened at the back. And certainly question marks as to what part of the body Adebayor used to turn it home. Uh, such a cheap goal to give away. I thought Van Persie was going to bend that freak into the box. He took everybody to by surprise. I think some of his own teammates as well. That Billy dallied on the edge. But when he came back to him, certainly was full of conviction, Van Persie. And taking that right round the back and putting it in the super cross. A bit of uh, ingenuity eventually paying dividends. And the Saar beaten. Arsenal in front and back into the title race as it stands. And the third time in almost as many weeks they've taken the lead against one of the big boys, if you like, Chelsea and Arsenal and Liverpool. And on both those occasions they've surrendered the lead. It certainly isn't over. It certainly isn't over. And this is Fred. Arsenal really got a taste for it. Adebayor, Gilberto busting a gun in the middle. Oh, Ferdinand! Oh, what an escape for United! And Edwin van der Sar denying his teammate from putting Arsenal 2 in front in spectacular fashion. Unbelievable. Full credit to van der Sar because he stays alert. And he had to be. Ferdinand goes with the wrong foot, with the right foot, just trying to guide it to safety. And then he puts the Gunners 2-0 up. Well, really has sprung to life now if it hadn't already and the Stratford end hoping to do its usual job suck many a ball into that net down the years for United in their quests for league titles in the past this is up we can't leave that to go through to the goalkeeper he's going harmlessly to all well maybe Christian Arlo could have gone on to the end of it Complaints from the Arsenal captain. Gallas has gone into the book and have Arsenal hit that self destruct button yet again. Just stepped into the penalty area there ahead of time. Yeah, by about three players. Gallas from Arsenal Park and Wayne Rooney, I think. And that's his favourite side as well, Cristiano Ronaldo. So Jens Lehmann has been warned. We've seen a glimpse of what may happen. Jens Lehmann, he's never shy of having a word or two, and he's talked himself into the book here. Well, maybe that's a yellow card worth taking, just to try and upset Ronaldo. Now, will he go the other way? Take two for Cristiano Ronaldo. They're level. Arsenal's lead lasted less than six minutes. And joy unconfined at Old Trafford. Well, he did keep his composure. The same side, there's a disconsolate figure, not that one, the one before William Gallas. It doesn't even seem like six minutes since they scored. Great penalty this time, keeps it low. Yeah, Jens Lehmann almost got fingertips to it. Maybe even over, overdived it, if you like. Just goes under his hand, I think. There's so much pace on that ball. A huge relief for Sir Alex and his team. Arsenal swarming forward here, they need another now. They need it quickly. Fabregas. Anderson and Tevez waiting on the touchline here for Manchester United for their introduction. And suddenly a court-like atmosphere at Old Trafford. Silenced by Adebayor's goal. Less than three minutes into this second half. And they're back on song now. Well, he must have made his mind up to Alex to make this double substitution even before the penalty. If not, it's a supremely quick reaction to that penalty. And it's Paul Scholes who will depart. And the man who may well prove to be his long-term replacement, Anderson on. And Ji Sung Park also departing. Carlos Tevez joining the fray. Well, no surprise to me at all there, Dan. That Scholes has left the fray. It's been in effect all afternoon. 
Fox not had one of his better days, but certainly centrally, this guy, such a ball with his back to goal, going to be able to bring people into play very well, Carlos Tevez. And you know, this is a time, I said it before, that Arsenal needs to be a bit more proactive even when they're in the lead, didn't hold the lead long enough. But maybe it's Theo Walcott time. And we'll see if uh, Arsene Wenger retaliates with that particular decision shortly, but... Uh, well, it really has come to the boil in more ways than one here. And a booking for Alex Lett. They need to keep their now. They need to keep their composure, Arsenal. Here's a free kick. Oh, silly boy. Well, Alex Lett, the fourth Arsenal name in Howard Webb's notebook. Two in a very short space of time surrounding the penalty decision for Galas and for Lehman. Well, that's the one for Van Persie, which was pretty harsh in the first half. Well, Sir Alex has always been brave with his decisions anyway. I think as soon as that penalty went in, he sensed blood, as I said, maybe, maybe even before that equalised. Well, we wondered what sort of psychological blow it would be to Arsenal if they did concede. We will now see what they're made of mentally. The United support sent blood. In towards Ferdinand, it's Gallas. And another corner to defend. I wonder whether his little rant at the end of the Birmingham game, his sit-in protest was a turning point, which uh, signified that the title was slipping away from Arsenal. It is at the moment. And a by your back there, it's Rooney to hit. Didn't get hold of it at all, Carrick foraging. And the decision is a goal kick this time. And Adebayo nearly pays the price, he won't be allowed that ball to bounce. He decides not to clear, Michael Carrick nearly makes a telling contribution. Wayne Rooney on the half volley, completely miscues it. And the ball bounces, and you've got to deal with it quickly. Lost the safety in the end. Ferdinand, who I'm sure was puffing out his cheeks in relief a moment ago when he needed, nearly beat his own goalkeeper. Now then, has uh, Gilberto gone down somewhat easily there? Certainly Owen Hargreaves thinks so. Maybe just an accidental hand into the face. Hargreaves is not happy there. Gilberto wins the ball cleanly enough. No, there's no contact there. He's, he's already got the free kick before he actually goes down. Gilberto milking it a touch and it's riled the relatively placid temperament of Owen Hargreaves. This is where Gilberto just might come into his own and show his composure in that central midfield area for Arsenal because they've certainly not shown composure when they've taken the lead in recent weeks. Just confirming there the Galas yellow card in the aftermath of the penalty award. It's Van Persie. Can Kleb get on that? And the whistle is gone. Oh well. Well, why didn't he wait to play advantage? He looks if he was, he looked where the ball was going. He saw that Hleb had actually got onto it. And now the Bayo takes a touch and he's through on goal. It is a foul. He doesn't give himself any opportunity, Howard. He does give himself the opportunity, then changes his mind. Also feel slightly aggrieved with that decision. They've got no sort of advantage from the situation. Arsene Wenger making that point to Peter Walton, the fourth official. But Carrick going into the book. Six in all now. It's more like an hour, it's more like an Arsenal Man United game. Well, no surprise that it's uh, got that little uh, controversial edge to it as well. Fabregas to deliver. Away by PK. And now Tevez, little warrior figure. Carrick away. Theo Walcott is making his way back to the dugout area down below us and his introduction would seem to be imminent as we head for the final half hour. And we saw what a devastating impact he could make at Anfield and getting the words of instruction from Pat Rice. And 
they've only got two players who can change the game for them. Arthur Walcott more, much more than anybody else, and Bentner, who is a goal scorer, they need to do something now, and with enough time as well to have a real impact on the game. And here's Anderson, one of United substitutes. Has he asked too much of Rooney here? No, he hasn't. But, uh, he couldn't get away from William Gallas. Away by Clichy. Brown. Fabregas beating Anderson to it. Defensive frailty that United showed at Middlesbrough last week is in evidence again today. Hargreaves, I think he thought about winding up for the cross. He was certainly wound up by Gilberto a moment ago. Well, this is the moment for the introduction of Theo Walcott, the man who made such a devastating impact with that wonderful run to create a goal for Adebayor and Anfield in midweek replacing Emmanuel Abue and we talked about the game-changing potential on the Arsenal bench Theo Walcott clearly their best weapon and there's a sign as well that the crowd are nervous at Walcott's introduction because he was being roundly booed and took his uh, position on the touchline won't help that he's a Liverpool fan either free kick. Not much of a Liverpool fan on Tuesday night, was he? <laughs> this is cliche. And if I or arm up wanted it, and this is Clev. Shifted away from Carrick. It's Fabregas. And a Bayor. Van Persie. PK's block. Walcott's first chance. Toure. How Arsenal need a goal. They've not scored two in the league at Old Trafford and won the match since 1979. This is Clichy on the surge. It's a great run from him, almost Walcott esque. Cut out by PK. Fabregas was lurking and loitering with considerable intent. Well, how they need to keep uh, United. Goalless from now on. And a by all. Anderson battling hard. And battling fairly. And a by all. Not quite. To say the least, he's not one of those on a booking. No, he's shown his frustration because he lost that in a physical challenge. And then you can see it coming straight away. Anderson, such a strong boy. Put his body in the way, he was never going to retrieve the ball clearly enough, so just allow him to go towards the touchline. I've been saying that, I did that many times myself. That's why I thought Anderson would have been on the pitch from the beginning of the game. Great strength, composure, there he puts his arm and his body in the way. And that was always a yellow card coming. Arsenal's fifth of the match, and uh, I suppose it uh, wouldn't be Manchester United against Arsenal without one or two physical confrontations. song underneath it and it's straight to Ronaldo and there are times when it's not looked comfortable pitched into the thick of this titanic clash and the rain lashing down on Old Trafford Certainly poised favourably for Manchester United in terms of the title chase. Chelsea still a huge obstacle in it, but Arsenal facing elimination from it. Tevez! Well, that would have been a goal to dream of, and one that would have been replayed time and time again, but just to ride the target. Great strike from Tevez, you blame it covered anyway. If that ball ends up in the back of the net, as a captain, I think any other player on the pitch would be straight over to Alexander Song to give him a real ear bashing instead of him clearing the ball down the lines he's looking for the perfect pass in the field and United goes straight down and nearly score and Tevez almost making a relatively instant impact since his introduction and some meaty challenges Van Persie's on his haunches at the moment 
century nightmares began against Manchester United in the clash at the Emirates last season. He's on the ground again. And I'm sure a few others at the moment. You know, he's taking a few whacks today, Van Persie. As he knows, he's not 100% fit. Probably every blow is just sapping his energy even more and more. is not enough for Arsenal. Song sidestepping Ronaldo there. They just didn't hold the lead long enough to really create any tension for Man United. Walcott wants it and has got it. Back for Fabregas. Another great opening. Oh, it is an all created by the pace of Walcott. Lovely touch inside. Hleb uses his body well, reverses the pass. And Fabregas, well, he was certainly getting those on target early in the season. That's another good chance for Arsenal. Well, 13 goals for the season, but they have rather dried up in the second half of the campaign. He's not hit the target today in his four attempts. This is Wayne Rooney. No one has enjoyed landing a killer blow on Arsenal more than Wayne Rooney in his career. This is Ronaldo. Walcott receiving possession again, and now Hleb. It's only got out of Iora for the moment. And the cavalry is arriving. Not carrying the fight himself. Clichy involved. Oh, and Wes Brown and the woodwork coming to United's rescue. Well, van der Sar has seen his own players put him in the firing up line plenty of times today. Oh, yet again, Alexander Hleb. At the heart of all good things coming from Arsenal, great ball in from Fleishik, so much pace on, the slightest touch is dangerous. And West Brown off his shin, with Van der Sar, didn't he get fingertips to it? He did, it's a great save. Well, it seems his teammates are providing the toughest test for the Dutchman today, but another fantastic save. I don't think we've seen, sorry, Dan, I don't think we've seen the end of the scoring, have we? We'll see what happens. We're heading into the final quarter of the match. And Tevez's touch let him down, but he will get a corner out of it. And United will not be satisfied enough with merely eliminating Arsenal from this race. They'll want to win it. This particular match. Hargreaves. And get the better of the Frenchman Owen Hargreaves. Yeah, they will knock the gunners out of the race with victory. The draw would, uh, well, certainly it would make it virtually impossible. Not a mathematically possible to win it, of course. And it brings Chelsea right back into it. They didn't run out of it anyway, were they? You could never rule them out with the quality they had at their disposal, their ability to change the team without really weakening it, weakening it drastically. We just thought the departure of the special one would ruin Chelsea's chances this season. And they've got the understated one now, haven't they? Avram Grant. This is Hargreaves. Tevez. She's stepping in. I just wonder if Nicholas Benton is going to see any action. No, Van Persie's not fit. Taking quite a few knocks, as I said today. As well, throwing an extra forward. And they will also free up a little bit of space for the likes of Theo Walker, well, him in particular, to decide to change left or right flank. I think if you're ready, if you get that Wes Brown, who's already on a yellow card, be afraid to bring him down anywhere near the box. Walcott certainly will fancy his chances. This is Ronaldo, presented straight by... Straight to him by Jens Lehmann. Well, he wants a free kick, which Howard Webb is not going to oblige him with. Fabregas. Oh, it's cut out by Anderson, who's got such an engine. And fresh legs as well. 
all important at this stage. We've already talked about it. How much do Arsenal have in reserve? Need to find something in the next 20 minutes or so. Or their title dreams, barring a mathematical miracle, really, are over. It's Patrice Ever in uncharted territory. Rooney! And Lehman responds yet again. Well, they've had an almost personal duel, and it's Everett who's fouled by Gilberto, and a free kick right in Ronaldo territory. Almost the first time in the game, they really caught Arsenal open. Rooney goes for power, blasts it straight at Jens Lehmann. And Patrice Everett, lovely skill, and tricks Gilberto Silva. This is a chance for United. Well, it's like Jens Lehmann has never been away. He also had the customary win to the referee, which has resulted in a yellow card for him. Well, Hargreaves spotting the ball, but I don't think there are any other candidates than this man. He's taking a good free kick himself, Owen Hargreaves. Yes, indeed, but we've seen the Ronaldo masterclass on a number of occasions here at Old Trafford this season. Can he produce again? It will be Hargreaves! Brilliant! Stunning free kick from Owen Hargreaves! And it may well be the goal which puts Arsenal out of the title race once and for all. Well, what a moment that could be for Arsenal and for the Championship. Arsenal out, United taking pole position. Or taking a firm grab on pole position. And the element of surprise has done it. As everybody thought Ronaldo was going to take that. Hargreaves just one step up. You were right, Dan. He did take it. And what an execution that was. Well, could Ronaldo have placed it better? That almost ends up in the side netting. Good one up for them early on in the season. And this could really be the killer blow, certainly for Arsenal. And Sir Alex knows how important that free kick could be. Well, you look at the Arsenal body language after that went in and the heads were down. It is a real body blow. Do they have enough mentally now to recover from this? And certainly making a fist of it here with Van Persie and Clichy. And even now, uh, come back to wrestle a point from this clash will not be enough to save their title hopes it's Van Persie well, he's had tougher tests today Van der Sar well, you have to believe that's it certainly the majority around Old Trafford think it is and the genuine prospect now of a third successive trophyless season for Arsene Wenger's Arsenal well, this will be the most crushing blow of all because they led the table for such a long time. But they really have imploded, if you like. I know it's such a harsh word to use. Such a great bunch of footballers. They've just not been able to stay at the pace. Well, with minutes to go at Birmingham earlier in the season, those Arsenal fans we saw were thinking about an eight-point lead at the top of the Premier League. An injury-time penalty conceded by Gail Clichy pegged them back that day. And since then, it's been downhill all the way. You can never underestimate Manchester United when they come up on the rails, as they have done again. And at this stage of the season, they do look the strongest force in that Premier League. Chelsea will still have plenty to say about that. But you feel that a 10th Premier League title is close for Sir Alex Ferguson. Bentner has been called back to the Arsenal dugout, so he will add to the armory that you know, Walcott will hope to provide, but there are plenty of glum faces amongst the Arsenal contingent. Well, he may be bringing him on now, but probably too little too late. You know, why, not give the, well, why not give the young man 15-20 minutes?
Well, Manchester United will, when they see it again, I would imagine, there weren't too many protests at the time, feel who felt agreed to go behind to the goal scored by Adebayor, which may have come off the arm. Tale of two handballs, really, because William Gallas handling to concede the penalty. And from then on, Manchester United have wrestled the initiative firmly back. It's Van Persie who will depart. Still nowhere near his sharpest with all his injury problems. And Nicholas Bentner, who is, to say the least, something of a confident character, coming on. Well, it's, a sh sorry. An impact. It's, a full, it's a shame, a fully fit Robin Van Persie. I said he's got that ability as well, and how gifted he is to play either side of a forward like Adebayor and give Arsenal much more than he's been able to in recent games. The final 15 minutes. Arsenal may be to salvage some pride. They came back from this position to get a draw at the Emirates earlier in the season. This is Ronaldo. He's got Rooney to his left and Tevez to his right, but he's got plenty to beat first. They say they're not bad options, are they? Brown. Michael Carrick, who things have been a little different, but aside for Arsenal, 2004, just after the Invincibles had claimed their crown, but Patrick Vieira decided to stay and the move was called off. Alex Song. giving Colo Toure a grilling here and forcing the throw in. Well, the third goal would really rub a bag of salt into the wound for Arsenal. And on today's performance they don't deserve it but the game is going to become more and more stretched in the final 10-15 minutes. Well, perhaps not playing at your best and winning is the key to landing those Premier League titles. This is Anderson. And hassled by Fabregas all the way, but it'll come to Rooney. And now Ronaldo, one or two party pieces coming out. Well, we saw how frustrated Arsenal got at that with Nani in the 4 0 in the cup earlier this season. Yeah, it's not going to go down too well. And we'll if Arsenal keep their composure as well, the young players. Yeah, plenty walking a bit of a disciplinary tightrope. This is Rooney. Into Tevez see what he intended he still may be able to produce something here the little Argentinian they're able to pick it off him and now Fabregas Arsenal hoping they can at least salvage something it's bent there and certainly making terrific progress it's a wonderful run he would, would have been hoping for a corner there. Certainly, it's only looked as, if looked as though it was, yeah. and finally it's been given. Well, I think the assistant Darren can on this near side have plenty of uh, influence in that decision. Oh, quite rightly so. Well, you can just tell by the way the ball ends up going out to touch by the play that it's not possible for one player to have played it that way. Bentner and Adebayor, plenty of aerial weights, but Andersar with a very confident claim under pressure. And it could be worse for Arsenal here. It's three on three at the moment. But they survive. This younger Ronaldo is three on the far side. This is Walcott. Well, Patrice Evra, that was no nonsense. Certainly a character with plenty of guts, Patrice Evra. Carlos Tevez, as Manchester United just look to slow it down and take the heat out of the situation. They have the lead, which many will argue is not a deserved one. Well, it is if you take your chances. And also really should have been one goal, maybe even two goals up before half-time. And that would have put him in such a more comfortable position and forced United they could have been running away with the game and the tears it looks like he's going the other way and this is Hargreaves scorer with that wonderful uh, winner at the moment but there are still more than 10 minutes to play Patrice Evra uh, 
first. Keeping possession and taking this thing out of proceedings. Fabregas though to win it back. And Adebayor, who's been as good as anyone in the Arsenal attack today. Fabregas, them outside him. Three in the area. But it's Wes Brown who stands up and wins it back with relative comfort in the end. Good tackle. But he gave him a chance, Alexander Hlebb, for once. His silky feet let him down, just ran it too close to Wes Brown. And maybe that's a sign of the creeping tiredness in the Arsenal ranks. Ronaldo, it's brilliant stuff again. Apologising to the other options he had in there. Oh, such a good run and a great flick inside. Quite entitled to shoot from that range and from that angle. And when uh, you've hit 37 goals for your club in a season, or well, 38 now, then uh, you're entitled, aren't you? And he's on 41 if you add in the goals he scored for Portugal this season. Advantage played. Arsenal might be a little aggrieved with that, given the situation they had a little earlier. And it comes to nothing. And PK with the challenge, and now Tevez. Really hoping to get back on side. Don't think he has. No, the flag is up. No, he's always going to be tight. He's had to gamble Tevez and try and slide it through. Really move sideways. Clev. Quite given up the ghost Arsenal, but uh, maybe the belief has drained away from them a little. They've forced another corner here. They're still plugging away, Arsenal, but I just feel even if they do get a couple more chances, they'll be so wasteful this afternoon. And they actually take advantage of it. And the gas is delivery. It's Ferdinand who meets it. And now Clichy. And she's delivery. Ferdinand again there. Gilberto trying to get there in front of Anderson, but was crowded out. United just can't get it away. And a by all. Oh, crucial intervention by Ferdinand. He was so unruffled there. Well, I think he saw it all the way, Rio Ferdinand. United to give it away cheaply on the edge of the box. Nobody anywhere near the halfway line, so there was no out ball there. They had to look for the short pass. It's going to be a tense finish as well for the home side. He's run his socks off today, hasn't he, Owen Hargreaves? And what a way to win it, if indeed it does. That's a super free kick. Lehman can do absolutely nothing about that. Well, everyone was expecting possibly that result. They weren't expecting it from him. Now Ronaldo. Well, only him and Rooney really in contention here. They'll find Rooney, Tevez making ground now, this is Hargreaves. She showed enough of that to Clichy, not quite. He's so strong, Tevez. Strong and brave. He knows it's coming, he's prepared for the challenge, he's prepared to get himself hurt in order to protect the ball. Into the wrestling match was breaking out there between Song and Rooney. This is Carrick. Brown. Justin Hoyt waiting for his moment to arrive. Looks as though Colo Torre is departing. And this will be the moment for that change to be made. It doesn't appear to be struggling that much as he makes his way off. Well, I'm surprised if Justin Hoyt is going to fall back, though I'm sure he is. Oh. It's a tough job to handle Cristiano Ronaldo. He's not anywhere near the pace of the game. It's a tough job if you are. Well, it is, yeah, but even more difficult when there's only a few minutes remaining. This is Brown. Into Tevez. Oh, that wonderful strike from distance. 
a little earlier, Gilberto was not going to allow him the opportunity again. Now Walcott in full flight. Bentner. Trying to feed it back to Theo Walcott. Fabregas to keep it alive. Hook's first involvement's an attacking one. In towards Nicholas Bentner. And the start able to hold on. Oh, he's got to do better, Bentner. It's a big lad. It's a great ball in from Fabregas. There's not a lot of pace on the ball, but he really hangs out well enough. He steals a Marshal Rio Ferdinand. He's got to power that header right back across goal. Prefer that right over the bar. Lovely pick out from Fabregas. That's a poor attempt. I think he's just on the way down as the ball reaches him. Just escapes the young Danes' clutches again, but that was a real opportunity for him. Arsenal can have no complaints today if they end up with nothing. We've got a hatful of chances. And they seem to have found a much more ruthless edge in the early part of the season, Arsenal. Certainly has uh, disappeared in, in recent weeks. Even then, Dan, they weren't punishing teams as much as they should have done. And this is Adebayor. Kishi. And the Saar forced into some effective action. And still not away yet. Fabregas. And now Hoyt. And Gilberto coming in. Well, that's not an easy chance by any stretch of the imagination. Thought he tipped it over, Edwin van der Sar. Luckily, when Rooney was there, at least he would have gone for a corner. Well, the two United substitutions have had a massive impact on the game. Anderson and Carlos Tevez is the third one coming. Well, it's not a bad bench to have, is it? And Ryan Giggs searching personally for his 10th uh, title on his own in that respect and also closing in on Bobby Charlton's appearance record by the weeks this is Tevez Hargreaves battling Clichy trying to rob him but uh, oh, Tevez so competitive Walcott and he's looking to just flick that switch and get away Bentner Clebb in towards Adebayor. And Arsenal make another opportunity. Oh, oh, poor cross. Oh, it's an awful cross from Webb. Got so much time as well to come back on his stronger side. And Arsenal still making the effort. They've not to lay down and died here. We are heading into the final two minutes of normal time. Stoppage to, stoppages to come. Point getting it back from Flair. Bentner. Oh, they're overplaying Nicholas Bentner. You're 12 yards from goal, man. Just take a touch and open yourself out and have a strike on goal. Looking for the perfect pass and a perfect finish. That's the old criticism of Arsenal. I have a needle stuff there. And this is Ronaldo pretty much all on his own. Just Hoyt, Giggs still waiting to come on. Fabregas. Clare hassled off it by Carrick, but hassled off it unfairly. And the midfielder is on a booking. Yeah, it's worth a challenge, it's worth taking a free kick just to take the steam out of the game. It's the queue for Giggs' arrival and the queue for the departure of the man who's stunning free kick is the difference between the two sides Owen Hargreaves departing as we head into the final minute of the 90 and the three added minutes and Ryan Giggs at 34 Looking up his 751st appearance for Manchester United. Fabregas is ball in, oh, and Bentner forces Van der Sar into a save. Oh, I've lost count of the amount of opportunities, Dan. 
It's another great opportunity for Nicholas Brenda. And it's not a it's not a great attempt. I know he gets it on time, he's been pulled by Cristiano Ronaldo, but yet again he should be going back across goal. He has it into the ground, he gives Van der Sar a chance. Van der Sar comes again, he's really played his part today. Some wonderful saves, it's gonna be four minutes of added time. An extra minute, and maybe more punishment for Arsenal. Lichy has uh, still got plenty in the tank, as you can see. It was rather a lunge from Rooney, wasn't it? And a Bayor. And if he'd taken his first half opportunities, how different it could be. He took one at the start of the second. Well, Rooney's getting a little hot-headed here. Well, he felt that Adebayo lunged in at him with stud showing. Well, if he did, he took the ball. Arsenal battling more to save a bit of pride than anything else now. With just over three minutes of the added time remaining. And Adebayo has gone down rather easily there. Well, surely that's handball from West Brown. And it's, no, it's accidental. Stopping Arsenal recovering the ball. Anderson. Now Rooney. Again, just slow the pace. Well, when United have had their opportunities from the penalty spot, the wonderful Hargreaves free kick, they have taken them. And Arsenal have lost count of the number of. Uh, Opportunities on goal they've had today, decent ones. And Rooney's frustration building and building. Well, he's a guy who never gives up, never stops trying when Rooney doesn't accept any decision against him, does he? And the Old Trafford crowd playing for the final whistle. They look to have got the victory in the latest instalment of this increasingly bitter feud oh, so just desperate to salvage something a draw the win is out of the question now this is Clegg into Walcott Brown, Giggs and Ever for company and he's fed Clichy here and a Bayor and Bentner in the middle it's Bentner looking to attack it it was PK who won it picking up the pieces and he may well do more than that although he's up against three Arsenal players here and heading straight for the corner Rooney looking for Giggs who's got half of old Trapper to himself here Tevez good play from United we're stretching the game forcing Arsenal to cover lots of ground to try and recover the ball Tevez, Brown, and a little flip from Tevez, and into the final minute, is there to be a final flourish here for United? Standing ovation for their display of keep ball here, that's all they need to do United, no showboating, no real time wasting tactics in the corner, you just invite them to have yourself kicked. Gilberto there conceding a free kick. Yeah, he's given away a lot of those today, Gilberto. He's been slightly off the pace of the game. And it's this tackle really that led to the free kick. And led to Man United's winner, surely. And it looks as though it's all over for Arsene for another year. The third year in a row. It looks as if there'll be no silverware heading to the Arsenal Trophy cabinet. Ronaldo felled cruelly. And a booking for Justin Hoyt, and uh, it means now that uh, Arsenal have racked up six yellow cards today, and uh, the FA will be having more than words. They'll be issuing them with a fine. Well, we don't like to see anybody being kicked, but Ronaldo <laughs> had that coming, didn't he? Dancing feet. I'm just surprised that Hoyt kept his composure for so long. It's a two-horse race for the title now. Arsene Wenger's Arsenal surely eliminated here.
Cristiano Ronaldo's penalty equaliser turning the game in United's favour. We expected him to apply a stunning free kick later on, but it was Owen Hargreaves who took it and dispatched it brilliantly. And William Gallas' 